This is the U.S. Meal Cold Weather, or MCW. Menu number nine, Mexican chicken and rice, weighs one pound, 1.6 ounces, or 496 grams. While this menu 18 beef ravioli MRE weighs one pound, 5.7 ounces, or 615 grams. And it contains 240 calories less. That caloric difference is in the main course. This main is freeze dried. It will not freeze in Arctic climates. Gotta add the water back in, but the MCW contains 1,540 calories while the MRE contains approximately 1,300. About 1,250 to 1,350 depending on the menu. A case of MCWs weighs only 15 pounds. It's really not bad. This is a nice fresh case too. 81st day of 2019. Inspections March 2022. And the TTI stamp, the freshness stamp, light in the center, dark on the outside. If it were dark on the center, darker than the outer ring, then it would indicate that it's heat stressed and not fresh. This is a perfectly fresh case of rations. That's a nice sight. Okay, so we're right off the bat, menu number nine. Rice and chicken, Mexican. Menu eight, spaghetti with meat sauce. Menu one, beef stroganoff with noodles. Menu number two, spicy oriental chicken with rice. Menu number three, chili macaroni with beef. Menu seven, beef stew. Classic. Menu 10, scrambled eggs with cheese, Western style. Menu six, seafood chowder. Menu number five, chicken and rice. Menu 11, scrambled eggs with bacon. Menu four, turkey tetrazzini. Menu number 12, breakfast skillet. So just like the USMRE, the MCW comes 12 to a case. All right, so let's give this a look. Okay, so right off the bat, osmotic cranberries. Seems to be in like every menu. Grape flavored, no fruit juice. That's the most unappealing name or title for anything. Beverage based powdered grape. That's more like it. Chocolate banana nut dessert bar. Ooh, that's something different. Look at this. Trans fat free cornbread. Accessory packet. And then the main course. Mexican style rice and chicken. You can barely read it. It's 36 grams of protein, 14 grams of fat, 92 grams of carbs, 18 grams of fiber, 9 grams of sugar, 1,640 milligrams of sodium. The accessory packet. Coffee instant type 2 spray dried. Toilet paper, chewing gum, creamer, hot sauce, sugar, moist towelette, and then some matches. That's looking pretty good. All right, let's get sat on your tray. Nice, okay, let's first start off by checking out that main course. This is always exciting, because you know what you always get on these? Is. Can't go wrong. They give you this tear notch at the top. It's a pretty bad design. It'll tear down to here and food will spray out everywhere. So you gotta actually slice it from the front, like about right here. 
and you still have a little bit of a handle. It says add 16 ounces of water, add 14. Oh yeah, let's get a good look at this. It's really packed in there. It doesn't even move when you shake it. Just a slight odor of tomato sauce and it's like very faint. Once you add that water, really brings it back to life. Stir that in. What you do is you don't add too much water at first. You get that worked in there. Then you add in a little more, like right now. Hmm. Tomato, garlic, and kidney beans. Like a really nice chili. Close this up. You can always add more water in as needed. The coffee and some type two. There we go. Okay, so then the beverage powder grape got a nice little trick here. Check this out. We're gonna live on the edge here because I mean that's what life is all about. I was talking to a veteran, he says, you gotta try this out. It tastes like Sour Patch Kids. It's just like a sour, chewy candy. I can't wait to try this out right now. Let's, let's. Oh man, I need more of that. Wait, maybe I'll save the rest for the drink. Just a little more. There we go. That is awesome. And they adhere to it because of the sunflower oil. Still get some grape drink. Compared to that, which one's more appealing? I say this. This is in the chocolate banana nut dessert bar. It is shelf stable fudge. These are in first strike rations and meal cold weathers. Look at this thing. Nice. The trans fat free cornbread. Whoa, I can smell it from up here. Very sweet. That smells like freshly baked cornbread. I mean, like, it smells like it was baked like several hours ago and then cooled off. Silica packet. Black olives, nice pieces of tomato. That rehydrated perfectly. Before I dig into that, you gotta have a sip of coffee while it's nice and hot. Coffee and some type two. A distinguished cup of coffee. Smooth, lightly acidic. So glad they brought it back. It's not for that main. Look at that, black olives, look at that rice. Green bell pepper, red bell pepper, tomato. Where's the chicken? I'm sure it's in there. The rice is not crunchy at all. It hydrated very well. The kidney beans, no crunch. That's perfect. The rice is really a nice short grain and looks like it's a bit fractioned, which rehydrates easier when it's like a real, like rice pieces almost. The flavor itself, it's very mild. It's not spicy. Fair amount of sodium. I feel like I've yet to hit a piece of chicken. Not sure where the chicken's at. 
I can taste it though, like a chicken broth. A very prevalent flavor of tomato. Is that chicken? I found a piece. It's hard to spot out and see if it's dark meat or white. Dark meat chicken. It has a nice chew to it. That's how freeze dried meat is usually. It's fairly chewy. The black olives it doesn't have a lot of olive flavor. It just really blends in, and the tomato is a bit overpowering. There's just so much tomato sauce. That's where all the sugar's at. The hot sauce. Quite a bit of vinegar. Mm hmm. That brings out the flavor. You notice that accessory packet doesn't have a pack of salt. It's recommended that rations in cold climates don't have anything over 5 grams of sodium for 24 hours. So it's relying more on spices, although the main course has over a gram of sodium. It's not too salty. Look at that. Nice cornbread. So yellow. It's like a cornbread pound cake. It's so sweet. You can break this up and mix it in. It tastes like cornbread and chili. I mean, it really does. The kidney beans add a lot of fiber, extra carbs, and protein. You'll be utilizing those nutrients much more efficiently with that extra fiber. And fiber is usually what a ration is lacking. And this is pretty high in fiber, considering, because of those beans. That cornbread pairs beautifully with this main course. The Mexican-style chicken and rice is an awesome main. This is definitely worth looking for. I was actually a little bit disappointed by these cranberries. Man. I'll never be disappointed finding Osmotic Cranberries again. It really does. It tastes like a sugar-coated sour candy. It doesn't even taste like a cranberry anymore. You can compare it to a regular dried cranberry. And the sunflower oil assists with the adhering of the sugar or beverage base. Sticks right to them. Cornbread. What a treat. They really do bolster the calorie content with that sugar. I mean, everything is sweetened. It's way too much sugar, but that's how you pack those extra calories in. And these guys are moving around. They're burning like five, six, and sometimes more, a thousand calories in a day. I talk to veterans, they say they never actually eat three in a day, they'll usually just have two. But these things were designed to be eaten three per day. 1,540 calories each, that's not bad. The cornbread on its own, it's a sweet, fluffy, like, corn pound cake. And it's like a dessert on its own. You break it up. Mix it up with this main. I feel like that's the way to go. I feel like the cornbread actually brings more of the flavor out on the Mexican style chicken with rice because on its own it's a bit overpowering with tomato sauce. Once you have that cornbread then you can really start appreciating the variety of other flavors that are you know incorporated into that main. Garlic, red, green bell pepper, tomato, onion. It's complex and it's not too spicy. It's very mild on its own. You add that hot sauce, if you add the whole thing, it's pretty spicy. That is an unusual, like almost unnatural kind of smell. I mean it's strong with banana and I'm not sure if that banana is natural or not. That 
That is a melt in your mouth shelf stable fudge. And it has mini chocolate chips in it. And pieces of walnut. This is a decadent treat. It truly is. It leaves a bit of an oily residue on your fingers when you handle it. Pretty high in fat. Very shelf stable. These things will last at least five years. Boy, this is going to be a sugar rush. Mm. Finally know what to do with the grape drink. It all makes sense now. Now to finish up with some of that chewing gum. Standard MRE or Meal Cold Weather chewing gum. Nothing different. Peppermint. Sweetened with xylitol. A firm chew. What a perfect menu. And the meal cold weather is, in a lot of ways, the best cold weather ration currently produced in the world for any military. They're easily mass produced. They are really the best in actual packaging. The shelf stable packaging, tri laminate. Well, anyway, this is Steve 1989. I hope you liked the video. And I'll be coming back at you with something new. Or old. Alright, cool. See ya.